friend are sharing three pizzas for lunch. You're each going to get half of each of the three pizzas. How much pizza are you going to eat all together? Well, we started by splitting each pizza into half. So you would get half the sausage pizza, they would get half. You would get half of the cheese, they would get half. You would get half of the pepperoni, and they would get half. So let's see, if we focus on how much you're going to eat, we can add our two halves together to give us a whole, plus another half to give us one and a half pizzas total. That's one way to solve it by actually cutting up the pizza and adding the halves together. Another option would be to multiply three times one half because we have three pieces worth one half each. To multiply three times one half, we know that we need to multiply numerator times numerator and denominator times denominator. The problem is three is a whole number and doesn't have a numerator and denominator. So the first thing we need to do is change three into a fraction. To do that, or to change any whole number into a fraction, our whole number becomes our numerator and we use a denominator of one to tell us we need one piece to make a whole and we have a numerator of three pieces. So three over one would be the same as simply having three. Now we can multiply. Numerator times numerator, or three times one gives me three, and denominator, denominator, or one times two gives me two, gives us the improper fraction three halves. We can take three halves and change it into a mixed number by dividing three by two. Two goes into three once with one left over, so three halves becomes one and a half, which is the same amount of pizza we had when we cut it up. We're multiplying four times three fifths. The first thing we notice is a whole number, four doesn't have a numerator and denominator, so we need to change four into a fraction. To make any whole number into a fraction, we use a denominator of one, and our whole number becomes our numerator. I can then multiply that times three fifths. So now I can multiply numerator times numerator to give me 12 and denominator times denominator to give me 5. 12 fifths is an improper fraction. We can divide 12 by 5 to make a mixed number. 5 goes into 12 twice with 2 left over so that 2 becomes my numerator and 5 stays my denominator. So in lowest terms my answer is going to be 2 and 2 fifths.